Hey everybody, this is Chaz from Yoga Amazing, and you know Valentine's Day is just around the corner. I'm sure lots of you are planning dinner reservations, getting candy flowers, gifts of all sorts, but I have the perfect gift for this Valentine's, and it is from our friends at harrys.com. Now, it, it's the Winston Shaving Kit Set. Now, when you order this, you get your choice of shaving cream or shaving gel, you get a razor, and you get three high-quality blades that were manufactured in Germany. Now, if you use the promo code YOGAMAZINGVALENTINE, you are going to get $15 off the engraving of this right here. As you can see, my initials are engraved on the back of my razor. So, you know, I highly recommend this product because I, I tell people all the time there's a difference between this blade and going to the store and getting the cheap blades. When you use this blade, it is like silk. It is a very high-end product. Not like those cheap products that make you feel like, you know, you just had your, your face shaved with a piece of wood. <laughs> it's a huge difference. And I highly recommend Harry's because it is the high-end, silky smooth uh, model that you will enjoy while shaving. So remember, I believe that this will be a great gift for you for your Valentine's season. So remember, harrys.com, promo code, YogaMazingValentine. Tell them Chaz sent you. Welcome everyone to this edition of the Yoga Amazing Video Podcast. I am Chaz, I am your host, and welcome back. Now as you can tell, this is the gamers episode. And I got this idea from Thomas, who lives in Germany, because he loves playing with his PS4, and he says, you know Chaz, after hours of playing this game, you know, my, my back, my neck, my shoulders, my lower back issues, uh, your whole body goes out of whack. And I completely understand that. I have played games many times over the years, not as much as I used to, but I have a son who plays games for hours because he loves it. And I completely understand because it can totally put your body out of whack because you're just sitting there for such long periods of time. So what we're going to do is work on a series of poses that you're going to do on a yoga mat, but there's some that you can actually do in your chair. But I kind of like the idea of you getting up out of your chair and practicing this, okay? But if you're there and you just want a quick stretch, I'm going to give you that option as well. So like Thomas, if you have an idea for an upcoming episode, please send it to me, chaz at yogamazing.com. Of course, you can find me on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And remember that if you're looking for the past episodes, go to yogamazing.com website where you can check out the archive or Yoga Amazing 24-7. Those are full HD with no ads or none of this talking. And also you can check out the Yoga Amazing apps for Androids, iPhones, and iPads. So, and don't, oh, if you want that high intensity workout, high yoga. So remember as we go through today's class to breathe, relax, and have fun in this gaming edition of the Yoga Amazing video podcast. From here, we're going to start the class in hero's pose. Just a nice uh, way to start the class as opposed to child's pose. So if you're sitting here and it hurts a little bit, you can always put a blanket or a pillow under here to help with any discomfort. So now just sit here with palms up. And we're going to do a, a nice sequence of poses here and movements here to start. But first and foremost, I just want you to sit here and relax. So close your eyes, draw the shoulder blades down the back, palms up, and just start to deepen the breath. Big inhales, big exhales. Inhale through the nose, hollow the throat, expanding the chest and lungs, exhaling back through the throat, through the nose. Slow, meditative breathing, helping you to calm down, stay focused. Then open your eyes, and from here, I want you to take your arms out, and then I want you to take your arm over your shoulder, right arm, arm over the left shoulder, and just don't let it drop, lift it up, and push it over that shoulder. I'm gonna do a nice sequence of moves here to help into the shoulder area, just deepen the breath. Slowly release the arms out and take it to the other side. Left arm over the right shoulder and push it in gently, keeping the arm level parallel to the floor.
Again, <clears throat> take the arms out, and you're going to X them right over the left, and then you're going to bend, twist, and lift it up, and then pull it down. And people always ask me, what is the best yoga pose I can do for my shoulder blades? Well, this is, this is definitely the one right here. Because you can definitely feel your, sh your shoulder blades separating, so just breathe and relax. And release <clears throat> and take the left over the right same thing you're gonna cross lift it slightly and then pull it down just breathe relax Slowly release. From here, take your right palm up and you're just going to bend right here. You're going to feel this all here in the top of your arms into the bicep. And this is that sequence that I was saying in the very beginning that you can do this actually sitting at your chair if you'd like. And then that's release and take it to the other side. And release from here interlock your fingers take your palms out draw the shoulder blades down and then you're gonna lift the arms up deep in the breath push through the palms draw the shoulder blades down the back slowly release take your left hand to the floor bring the arm up and just get a nice extension over getting that stretch through the side of the body Release, arm up, lengthen, and over. And slowly release. From here, <clears throat> bring yourself to your hands and knees for the cat and the cow pose. Make sure the shoulders are over the rings of the wrist, knees or hips width apart knees are below the hips so you don't want your legs back you don't want to be like this you want to be squared up and then from here inhale looking up shoulder blades down spread the sits bones and as you exhale round tuck and squeeze again inhaling up big breath and exhale now set your own pace nice slow movement deep breathing Then bring it back to the center. And from here, we're gonna thread the needle. So from here, we're gonna take the arm under, palm to the floor, shoulder down, dropping your head, bringing the arm up, and just pushing the arm into the floor, getting that big twist in the spine. Now remember, you're putting the weight into the shoulder, not into the neck and the head. Breathe. and release. Bring it back to the center. Now we're gonna take it to the other side, same thing. Take the arm through, thread the needle, shoulder down. Bring the arm up, push into the arm and the floor. And push so you get that big twist in the spine.
and release from here digging your toes into the mat taking it into a downward facing dog again you want to flatten your palms spread your fingers and you want to push back so you have a straight spine you don't want to round and try to get your heels to the floor bend your knees push it back and sink it in like right now my body's just warming up so i'm just as cold as you so my heels aren't on the floor and that's as i always say if your heels don't hit the floor well then guess what yep they just don't hit the floor just let your body open up no big deal just breathe honor where you are and just hang out with your breath from here bring your foot forward get set up that hand down and bring that arm up so we're just doing a nice twisting lunge gazing up if it's if you can't do this then you can drop your knee or if you have your leg up make sure that you firm up that leg that straight leg gaze up deep in the breath bring your right foot forward firm it up make sure that the hand that's down is under the shoulder you can drop that back knee down if you like if not keep that leg firm and strong gaze up at the arm in the air deep in the breath big twist slowly release and take it back to down dog Bring the other foot forward, hand on the shoulder, knee down, knee up, firm up the leg, arm up, gaze up, deep in the breath. Hand to the floor, take it back to a down dog. And bring the right leg into the air, roll the hip open, dog at a fire hydrant, as I call this pose. And knee forward to pigeon, lift into the heart, and stretch it out on the floor all the way. Or you can come up to here, and I'll stay here so I can breathe and talk. Now make sure that when you're doing this pose, you don't drop your butt cheek to the floor. You square the body up, distribute the weight evenly, and breathe and sink. Slowly release, taking it back to a down dog. Same thing, lift the other leg, roll the hip open, push it back, and bring the knee forward, lift in the heart, and lay it out on the floor. Remember, breathe, distribute the weight evenly, and sink. Great relief for carrying a lot of that tension and stress in our hips, and right here with the pigeon pose, just breathe and let it go. From here, you want to bring it up, take it back into a down dog again. Bend your knees, push it back. Remember, if your heels aren't hitting, just bend your knees tightly. Remember, you want an upside down V, not a soft N. Now walk your hands back and walk your feet in slightly and just hang like a rag doll. Palms up, have no stress. Now this pose is great for your lower back. It stretches it out, takes tension off the neck and shoulders if you've been playing games a long time. Great simple pose to do. You can just back your bottom into the wall if you need to. It's also good because it's like, uh, brings um, fresh blood flow into the head. 
So it wakes you up and calms you down. It's kind of like getting a, a shot of espresso, but instead of that, it's a shot of yoga. Just breathe and sink. And take your hands out, walk it back to a down dog. And drop to your knees, lay on your stomach. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do the cobra pose. Now, when you're doing this pose, you don't wanna do this. You don't be pushing with your arms. So you're gonna have your hands back by your chest, keep your neck neutral with your spine, take a big inhale. And as you exhale, lift with your lower back. See, your arms are just holding you. They're not, they're not pushing you, they're just holding you in place. Draw the shoulder blades down the back, deep in the breath, and lift with the lower back. This is a classic pose to help with lower back issues. Release, turn your head and palms up. Chin to the floor, arms to your side, palms down for the locust pose. Inhale, and as you exhale, bring it up, arms up, legs up, chest up. Squeeze your butt, squeeze and lengthen through your legs, lengthen through your arms, lengthen through your neck, soften the gaze, deepen the breath. And release, and push it back. Child's pose, stretching out your back. Now then slowly bring yourself up to sitting in hero's pose, like this for just a moment. So close your eyes, palms up. From here, open your eyes. Now, Thomas uh, from Germany said that after playing games for so many hours that his eyes were hurt. And I can understand that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little, a little bit of, a, uh, of eye yoga. That's the best way to say it. So the first thing I want you to do is take your hands and just rub them together. I want you to get them nice and warm. You can feel the heat building up in your hands. And then I just want you to take those hands, your palms, and cup them over your eyes. Close your eyes and breathe. Slowly release. Now from here, we're gonna do a little bit of um, exercises with our eyes. So the first thing, it's very important for you to do is to relax your eyes. That's, it sounds very simple, but just soften your face, soften your gaze as you do this, this sequence here. So what I want you to do is keep your breath deep. And the first thing I want you to do is just set your drishti, your gaze. So gaze at something in front of you. Soften the breath, soften the gaze. Now I want you to take your eyes and I want you to look this way. Keep your head where it is and just shift your eyes and look to the left. For you, it's probably gonna be your right. Come back to the center, set your gaze forward and then look to the other side. Don't move your head though. Gaze forward, and then from here, eyeballs up. And then bring it back to the center, and then look down. Back to the center, look this way. Back to the center, look this way, keep your head straight.
Back to the center, look up. Back to the center, look down. From here, rub our hands together. And you can do this sequence as many times as you want. Good for helping with the eyes. And so from here, let's take your hands and put them, cup them and put them over your eyes and just deepen the breath. Slowly release and bring yourself down to your mat. Or if you're just sitting in your chair, you can just take your arms to your side or just keep your palms on your eyes. But I'm gonna end it in Shavasana, the resting pose. So, arms to your side, palms up, breathe and relax. With each inhale and exhale, just allow the body to relax, let go. Let the body-mind connection be made through your yoga practice. Just let go. Take the peace and the strength and share it. Namaste.